Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris, where we just essentially forcibly moved all of our robots over to this agricultural world. <laughs> I'm sure they'll be okay with that. So I'm just going to spam out a few hydroponics farms here. We're also going to upgrade to this planetary capital. That should keep them under control. And if they do begin rampaging, hopefully they'll only be at the one location. Now, we're building a planetary capital here. That's going to be done in 10 days. Let's let that finish up. And once that has finished up, then we can put in a galactic stock exchange here, which will help. It'll help our current energy credit issues. It will not fix our current energy credit issues. Of course, our major energy credit issues are coming in from our ships. We're currently paying 1,813.67, and that is increased by 6% due to being over our naval capacity. So that is something that would be nice to uh, increase our naval capacity. Let's see, we could just simply grab some admin cap here. We were over our admin cap, we're not now, but we likely will be soon as we continue having our population grow. This tech world, of course, the civilian fabricator, could be re-enabled. There we go. This habitat is now ready for colonization, and so we shall. And I really don't care what species colonizes it, they all necrophage just as well. Over here, we're currently lacking a worker employment. There's not actually anything we can do about that. We need those workers there to get ourselves another building slot. We're going to be short on jobs. On these habitats, these refinery habitats, though. There's no doubt about that. We'll have to figure out how exactly we want to handle that one. Perhaps we should have them have trade districts, actually. And then... Mm, I'll, I'll have to think about it. These trade districts are housing negative. So that's a complicated thing to solve, actually. Now, I would love to attack these guys. I think we're not quite ready yet. We're very close to being ready. We're currently superior, or they're currently superior to us, the Nurian Arbitrators. That said, yeah, Necrophyte shortages, those are absolutely fine. That said, we may want to just attack. We're also a little bit short on our claims for what we really, really want here. Because I would love to grab all of these in a single war. So grab this whole section plus this away from this federation. And then call that good. That would be the goal. That would cost 87. We'll go ahead and get that started. But if we could get access to all of this, that would be huge for us. Energy weapon damage, sure. We're going to grab energy credits from jobs to hopefully offset our energy credit costs a little bit. This research station needs a chamber of elevation, and we will definitely put one of those in. Fantastic. This generator world here, actually, we should resettle this over to one of our trade habitats. Doesn't really matter which one. Just toss him straight on over there, where he can generate a little bit of trade value for us. Excellent. I'm not too interested in minerals from jobs right now. We're doing very well on that front. However, I think we'll just grab Explosive Weapon Attack Speed for right now. Let's also sell off some of our excess food and some of our excess minerals. We're not selling it any more than this giant, uh, giant chunk at a time. Just because that is, of course, the most efficient way to stay afloat. The monthly sale doesn't allow the prices to come up quite as high. So that'll be fine. This tech world is in need of a job. That's easy. Excellent. So that is completely fine. How much are we currently earning from trade? 29.27.85. So our trade income is definitely, definitely coming up. That's very, very good to see. I do want to continue to shuffle additional... Oh, wait, are we currently constructing anything? Yes, we are building a habitat. Fine. Admin cap increasing. I do want to continue shuffling additional 
workers into our trade stations. Specifically, this one would be a good one to put them into. And that's about it for now. <laughs> so that's ideal for us. This is currently set up as an urban world. I feel like it shouldn't be. It's currently got a couple of admin parks, precinct, house, precinct houses, luxury residences, commerce megaplexes. This is kind of a hodgepodge. Of course, this is... Where are you? And I closed it. Okay, that was this guy. <laughs> okay, you're right here. Yeah, that's fine. I think we don't need these cyto revitalization centers anymore. And I want to put in commercial zones here. I'm also interested in shifting off of these agriculture districts and into generator districts and a mining district. We do not need these agriculture districts. They are completely irrelevant to us. These luxury residences are still quasi-useful for right now. So we'll keep those. And we do kind of need the civilian industries. The alloy nanoplants, not so much. But we'll just... We'll call that good for now. And we should probably switch this off of an urban world. And I would like to switch this over to... How much trade do you produce right now? 255. I'd like to switch this over to a commercial world. But that doesn't appear to be an option. Fascinating. Okay, so what do we want here then? Probably a generator world? It's questionable, but okay, we'll go with it. Now, if we were to replace this alloy nano plant with a energy grid, that would be good, except for we would be losing eight jobs and replacing it with one job. However, one thing we could do is we could upgrade this to a Paradise Dome, which gives us an additional three housing. Upgrade this to a Paradise Dome, and then replace this with an Energy Grid. That could work. Okay. <laughs> well, that was complicated. This tech world needs jobs easy enough. This industrial world... Actually, this is really convenient. We need a job here. We're going to go ahead and grab a civilian fabricator upgrade. I'm actually super happy about that. This tech world is lacking housing. That's easy enough to fix. We are currently full on alloys. Let's just tank the price a little bit. Actually, we're going to have to tank the price pretty hard here if we want to get these alloys consumed. And we don't really have any mega structures to spend them on. Okay. Price is at its minimum. <laughs> there we go. We'll just start banking those back up. We will be needing our alloys later on. Don't get me wrong. This is a mining world here. And I would love to put in... It's kind of becoming a, a refinery world. We'll put in a chemical plant here. A study has been completed. Okay, we can activate a relic. I don't see any particular reason to do so right now. I would rather spend that on claims, that influence. I'm sorry, what? Oh, this is a vestige. This is partly occupied by them. Awkward. Okay, we're going to continue to make claims. And I think that's actually all we can do. Yeah, that's all we can do for right now. That's fine. Now, we're not really particularly threatened by either of these federations, right? Neither of them are very frightening to us. It's literally only these guys that are keeping us from getting aggressive. And I do think that we could beat them alone. But them plus one or, one or both of those federations... That's what's questionable. We're going to grab energy credits from jobs again, especially with our energy credits being what they are right now. That is what makes that particularly questionable. How many more of these do you have queued up? I believe this is the final one. Okay, 
We're going to head over to here next then and queue ourselves up. A couple more of these, but we're lacking influence, actually. Uh, we'll have that very, 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 very soon. Two month ticks. That's fine. A, study is A question. Labor overseers on Zeober Prime reported disturbing development among our robotic work workforce. Do we have robots on Zeober Prime? No. No, we don't. I thought we moved those all out of there. Two weeks ago, at roughly 0300 hours, robotic worker A5091B paused in the middle of its designated tasks, approached the Zeober Prime night shift foreman, and uttered the following query. Is unit A5091B in possession of a soul? The on-duty foreman logged the event as a software glitch and reordered the robot to resume regular functions. However, upon boot up the following work cycle, robotic worker A5091B once again repeated its soul searching query and continued to persist, despite multiple debugging attempts. Troublingly, the behavior appears to have spread to other robots in the same serial range, to the detriment of production flow. It appears the affected units will require a response to their question before they can resume normal functions. We could refuse to, di to dignify this malfunction with an answer, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Perfect. We don't like robots. We didn't want them anyway. There are no robots on Zeober. All of our robots are currently on this agriculture ring world. And how many actual robot pops are here? Like, their, their current rights, they're, they're set to servitude. They're exempt from military s service. That's fine. We definitely do want population controls on them. <laughs> Excellent. So there are 17 total robot pops, and they're all on the one planet. So that is perfect. Wonderful. So this tech world here currently is in need of housing. Easy enough. Let's grab some society research, and we're going to go for... Given the options here, I think just army health. Okay. This forge world needs jobs. Easy enough. What else do we need up here? A new colony. This industrial world is actually in need of housing and jobs. That's, that's a good thing. That is a very, very good thing for us. So we're going to go ahead and get civilian replica complexes. But we're also going to replace this mining district with a city district to fix that housing issue. Wonderful. This habitat over here has low stability. That's to be expected. We are going to fix that with a gene clinic. And this is probably going to be another trade habitat, honestly. But we'll come back to that. This bureaucratic center here. We're going to go ahead and continue with it being a bureaucratic center. We'll put in an admin office. That should be fine. Canopus Prime here needs a job. Easy enough. And everything else looks good. The study has been completed. This is our explosive weapon damage finishing up. We'll grab kinetic weapon damage next. Excellent. I feel like if we were to expand to a sixth fleet, we would be equivalent to these guys. That said, I also feel like we can't really afford to expand to a 6th fleet. In terms of energy credits, anyway. Let's get this up to a planetary capital. And this should, of course, be a luxury residence. Because for every three research labs, we need four luxury residences to keep them in housing. So that'll be fine. This will be a luxury residence. Perfect. Gene Clinics will be finishing up here, and we should have no issues after that. There we go. Wonderful. This refinery station finally needs a building, and we are going to put in Synthetic Crystal Refinery. Okay, sounds good. What else do we need? Not a whole lot. I'm really starting to get itchy on this war, though. The major issue here is that these are currently... Buffer zone creation. With the United Trading Pact. 
awkward. The major issue here is that these are currently occupied. Like, we kind of can't proceed with our war until this war wraps up. So that is the unfortunate thing there. And I do want to start with these guys. We may end up having to go elsewhere for our our beginning war, like take this region. That said, how much would it actually cost to claim all this? I mean, it's not going to let us see how much it would cost to claim all of it. But we, we can start getting claims over here, I suppose. It's an option. And we can continue getting claims during the war. Like, that does work. This refinery world currently has five people that need to be moved. Okay, because it's a, it's they were necrophaged. So we should resettle these into one of these trade habitats. There we go. A study has been Excellent. Five moved over, and this trade station now, of course, is going to be needing a commercial zone. And this trade station is going to need a chamber of elevation. That'll be perfect. A study has been completed. Applied superconductivity has finished up. Let's go ahead and grab energy weapon attack speed. And let's also grab defense platform damage, I guess. Wonderful. So we are making good progress here. This tech world needs jobs. Easy enough. This generator world actually needs to have people moved off of it. So we will also move them over to here. Wonderful. And you can see we're doing much, much better on our energy credits now. So that is great. Although it's not coming in from trade. I'm not actually sure where it's coming in from, but that is fine. The Christine Habitat. Okay. I guess only people named Christine can live there. Sounds good. Wonderful. Turns out all of our robots are named Christine. That would be awkward. They just decided that they were named Christine. Whatever. Okay, so we definitely need to make claims over here. This is going to cost quite a lot of influence, but we'll just bank that up for a little while. We'll, we'll keep an eye on these guys. I have a feeling that the moment we declare war, these guys are going to intervene. And we'll have to make a choice about whether we care or not. There's a gateway here, which is perfect. We can restore that. Actually, there's a, there's a gateway that's unrestored up here in our territory. How did I forget this? We'll just get that restored. <laughs> There's also one over here that we may as well restore. Actually, mm, the major issue there, I can never remember if the gateway network is accessible to hostiles or not. The major issue with this gateway is that it's not particularly well defended, and we don't have a starbase capacity to throw at it. Okay. Planetary Administration on Bardigan 3 Habitat has reported that an unplanned surplus of robotic workforce units have been located planetside. Bardigan 3. Uh, where is that? Here. Do they have any robots? Yeah, there's no robot assembly happening. They currently don't have robots. Fine. So we could gain two robot pops there. We could just gain the robot pops and immediately pop them back over. That could work. Sure. We'll do it, and then we will resettle those over to the Agri Ring world. Boop. Boop. Fantastic. We can build a structure here, and we are in need of jobs that will fix this. Okay, no jobs issues here. We are in need of additional jobs on this world, and we will also construct a building here. This is a refinery station. Let's see here. We are in need most of synthetic crystals, so we will then put in a synthetic crystal plant. Fantastic. This research ring world is almost ready for its... Uh, 
Research Institute. But we do need additional housing here. We need a luxury residence. And of course the agriculture ring world. Where we can simply put in a hydroponics farm. That'll do. Excellent. Hang on, what is this for? Okay, we don't care. Let's go ahead and grab army damage. Excellent. So we're basically at this point just waiting on influence for claims, right? I don't I don't think we're waiting on really anything else. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that won't take too long. A study has been completed. So the reason why I'm okay with activating this gate is because Gremium is right next to it. But I'm going to be interested to see if we can... I, I can never remember if it's if the gateway network is empire-wide or galaxy-wide to any gateway in the galaxy. I know the L gate works that way, but I can never remember for the life of me if it's that way for gateways. We'll find out. No worries about that. And if it's if it's empire wide, then we would then we would upgrade this. Hang on, did I just Oh, that's their station. That's not our station. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, energy weapon attack speed, sure. Let's grab shield hit points. Fantastic. So we're currently equivalent to these guys in technology, but we've been outpacing them. So we should be surpassing them quite soon. Hello, we're full on alloys again. Price hasn't recovered yet. That's okay. We'll just dump most of our alloys. Okay, the Master's Teachings has expired, and I think that's okay. I think we'll leave that. I don't want to spend the influence on that right now, not when we should be putting it into claims, because we are definitely going to be going to war very soon. Instrument of Desire, Decadence. The desires inflicted upon our people by the instrument are strong. The people of Elthir Prime, the science variant, have been caught in a frenzy of consumerism and decadence, demanding ever more exclusive goods, ever rarer and more savory foods. Already rioting has broken out at several shopping districts, and we've been forced to ramp up the production of our farms and industries to prevent the planet from descending into chaos. Okay. I think we'll be okay on that for now, but that's gonna hurt. There's no doubt. The Tree of Life Tranquility have completed a sentry array. Okay. Good for them. It'll be our sentry array pretty soon. I do want to get additional synthetic crystals. We are going to need more of those. This tech world needs jobs, easy enough. This trade station actually needs jobs as well. More specifically, that specialist needs to get downgraded. Yeah, these are clerk jobs, so eh, that'll have to happen. We have specialists here as well. Again, they're going to have to get downgraded. We need them here. Okay, this all looks fine to me. We're not going to take action on any of those. And over here, once again, we need specialist jobs. That's an easy solution, though, on that world. So that'll be fine. Uh, let's go ahead and grab army damage. Wonderful. A study has been completed. And armor hit points finishing up. This gateway is reactivated. Fantastic. Let's grab synchronized firing patterns. Okay. And with that, it is pretty much time to put a cut in here. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, I'm pretty sure we're going to begin our galactic conquest. I do want to check our claims here. Yeah, we can get one more. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time.